we have either connection with God or connection with man. Vertical or horizontal, we have your connection man to man, woman to woman, and then as a man we have connection with God. But while I was growing up, I heard this phrase, all of us are from the Caribbean, specifically the Jamaican, I've heard it. I've heard it. it said, no man is an island. Yeah. No man stands alone. alone. I repeat, no man is an island. island. No man stands alone. alone. Amen. How necessary you may consider connecting with another person. Oh, valuable do you see it as an individual in your walk and your relationship with God? I've been working with God so many years, and one of the, the essential things that I realize in life that how far you go in life and what you accomplish in life as most bearing to the kind of connection you have in life. Can I say today? That based on where you are presently as an individual, it may be as to who you are connected with or to. Amen. Because if you are not connected with the right person, I guarantee you, your life will never excel to the extent of a destiny designed by God for you today. There are many folks that I speak today, right on this celebrating day and reflecting Jesus. If they had connected with him, their life would never be in the place or the state that it is right now. And so, even as we look at this time, what is the intention of God in all of this as we look on the day? Is that God intended that man should be in connection with him? Amen. The greatest struggle that we are having today in this life. It's because men choose to be disconnected with God. Yes. Mm. And as I observe my own life and take into account where I'm at today, I say to myself, if I had not come in contact with Jesus, if I had not made connection with Jesus years ago, I maybe would not be where I'm at. I would not be where I'm at. But my connection with Jesus Christ has put me into a position in life that I am not worse than anybody else. But I am in a better place because I'm connected with a person who assists my life to be the best that he can be. Who wouldn't want to connect with someone who will assist their life or help you to be the best that you can be today? And so we talk about today, in reality, what is all about is that God wants you to connect him with Christ. And when you connect him with Christ, you will become the best that you can be in this life. Amen. So it's not about the baby Jesus. It's, about it. it's just the introductory process that God introduced to us. That he came into the earth to introduce us into a better life. There is that we can live. But do you want a better life? life and what we try to do 
You should just think about myself. Me. But in human relationship, what is affecting a lot of folks today is because the person that you invite in your space. Amen, yes. The person that you see as ladies, the man that you like the wit, the destiny of your child is depending on the genetics of that person. So if the connection with that person is that you connect with the seed of a murderer. Because genetics works. The genes will affect your destiny. Every one of us sit here today with a genes that's right. Our genetic will have destroyed our life. Amen. Yeah. True. Talk to the people. True. If it weren't for Jesus, if it weren't for our connection to Christ, our genetics would have destroyed our lives. Holy man. Jesus, my God. But my connection with God. I don't know how can people want to live without knowing Jesus. And look at all the possibility when you connect with him, what you can become. The life-changing experience that you encounter. We call it over and over if any man be in Christ. If anyone make a connection with Jesus, who will transform my life. If it don't change my life, it's difficult to interview somebody about the experience that I know of that I'm not living. Mm -hmm. yeah. So first, my connection with Christ, I must see the possibility, I must see the power, I must see the result. So if you are connected with something and you are not seeing the result, what must you do? So why are you still connected with the thing that are not giving the result that you want? One of the things that I've seen destroy people so, so much is what we call friendship. Friends. Mm -hmm. You get to make sure that who you are connected with will help you to be the best that you can become. Amen. Because who you connected with have the potential to pull you 
down. Down in the womb or to lift you up. Who are you connected with? Right connection. Destiny connection. Purposeful connection. Meaningful connection. In Jesus' name. If you're here today, you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The greatest connection you can make is to come to know Christ as Savior, Lord and King. You will never be the same. And as we prepare to leave here, give back your most conscious thought to ensure that you're crossing into 24 with Christ as the Lord of your life. As the one that will navigate your life into the best place of your life. Make sure that you don't leave this place without having God as a condition. Father, we give her the praise. We give her the honor. We give her the glory. In Jesus' name.